Hi guys, how are you? It seems like it's going to be another sunny morning here in Liverpool. I'm at the Hallmark Inn, but I'm just about ready to check out because I'm going to go and one, explore the city a little bit more, which I'm going to share with you in my city guide, which is either the video after this one or the video just before this one so make sure you check those out on our channel but after that i'm gonna go and get a wedding tour of another amazing wedding venue that i get to share with you guys and i'm so happy that i managed to get this one booked in because it was my favorite it was on the top of my list and it just looks amazing i didn't look at too much online because i wanted a surprise as always you know me but i just need to take my bags to my car and then we can go for a wonder and then get to the wedding venue and i'll see you there <laughs> Okay, so we've made it to the wedding venue for today. This is the Royal Liver Building or the Royal Liverpool Building, depending on what you want to call it. And the first thing I want to mention is the location of this venue. It is incredible. It's surrounded by amazing, kind of dated and beautiful architecture. The buildings just look very traditional. You know, if you're going to get photos taken outside, they're going to look stunning. And it's also right on the waterfront. So you've got everything looking right out onto the water from the venue, which is amazing. There's actually a really good photo spot that I'm going to take you to in a bit that will show you more of what that will look like. So that's the outside. And when you come inside, this is your entrance. Obviously, it looks very grand from the outside because you've got the pillars and then they continue inside as well. You've got all the glass, you've got the revolving doors. Everything about the venue just screams elegance. But also, it's like this mix and match of contemporary and traditional. It's so, so strange when you walk in, it isn't what you expect. So this is what it looks like when you walk in. You see the marble, you see the pillars, you see the lights, everything about this venue, even from the little touches of flowers and little pops of color, make everything just tie in nicely together. Down here, you also have your reception area. You have a small seating area where guests can wait if they're waiting on anybody. And then you have four lifts for your guests to head up to the first floor, which is where the weddings would take place. Or if they prefer more of a grand entrance, they can use the stairs. This is an amazing photo op. I can just picture a bride, you know, like as if she's walking up the stairs, looking back over her shoulder with the train of the dress and the veil and everything coming down the stairs. It would just, oh, it would look great. So even just looking at this area, you can kind of get the idea with what I'm talking about when I mentioned the the mix of tradition and contemporary because you've got all the marble, which is a little bit traditional just because of the style of marble that it is. But obviously marble is a massively contemporary thing at the moment. You've got the change in lights, you've got the LED, you've got the lovely flowers. Everything's just this lovely blend. And I keep saying lovely. I love this venue. Have we discovered this already? So that's the main kind of reception foyer area, if you like. And now I'm gonna go upstairs and we're gonna see where ceremonies would take place and then we're gonna see where wedding breakfasts and receptions would take place. So this is what you see when you come out onto the first floor. The space is so open and the high ceilings and the light from the windows really helps keep it bright. It comes with a fully stocked bar area so your guests will be well taken care of, you can know. But personally, my favourite thing about this venue is that it comes as a blank canvas that can literally suit both modest and really out there weddings or anywhere in that spectrum. Couples can add their own decorations to make it theirs and not feel limited by trying to match any decor or any colours that might be there already. Ready. Also because everything can be personalised, couples can go into this venue knowing that it won't look like anyone else's wedding, it'll look like theirs. And then we come outside to the photo spot that I told you about, but it doesn't just necessarily have to be for that. Guests can come out here just for drinks if it's a nice day as well. It just opens up into this beautiful balcony with a brilliant view of the waterfront. I can see photos out here and I also had this really vivid image of fireworks at night, don't know if that's even possible, or even just a clear starry sky at night. I just, I love it. And then we come to the dining area, which again gives the same brightness, the same blank canvas kind of feel that people can really make their own. The whole layout of the room is perfect for a wedding breakfast, it's elegant, and the view makes the perfect backdrop for the top table. There are just so many opportunities to decorate the space, but because of the white and the openness and the windows, even the busiest reception won't look overcrowded. You'll still feel like you have room to breathe, which I just think makes everything feel more comfortable. I really like it. 
And the last place that I want to show you guys is actually a little bit of a nice touch to a venue like this. Because the Lever building isn't a hotel, they don't have accommodation on site, the closest accommodation is like a short walk across the road, which isn't a massive issue for people when they're looking for a wedding venue. If it's that close, I can't imagine many people would be that bothered by it. But the Lover Building wanted to make sure that they added a little bit of a luxury element and just a wee something for the bride on her big day because obviously she's not going to have a hotel room to go back to. So they've added in this amazing dressing room for the bride and her bridesmaids. They get access to this throughout the day if they're here for their ceremony, they get access to it then. If they're having a reception and their dinner here, if they're having just a reception and dinner here, they still get the same access to this room. And I just think that's really nice. Because sometimes if you're the bride, you just need to nip away and like fix the dress, fix the hair, touch up the makeup, all that stuff. And it just means you've got your own personal space to do that. Also, if you're having a wee emotional moment, you can you can just come in here and have a wee whew, they've even got tissues on the dressing table, they're ready for you. I just love the setup of this room. Again, very much a blank canvas. If the bridesmaids wanted to add little touches that are personal to the bride, they could definitely do that because it's very simple. You know that nothing's gonna outstage the dress. I can just imagine getting a nice little boudoir shoot in here with your photographer, it would be incredible. And that is the venue. Let us know in the comments what you think of it. Do you like the modern and traditional style? Let us know. Other than that, thank you so much for watching. As always, check out the other wedding venue tours that we've done on our channel. Subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you next time. Bye!